This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. When you create a data entry application in CS Pro, several files are created and it can be confusing to trying to work out which files are needed when. Most of the files are text files, but you should not try to edit them outside of CS Pro. Some of the files include references to the other files in the system, and each has its role within the system. This demonstration identifies each file and discusses its role. Here we see eight files associated with the data entry application called Baseline Survey. These include the dictionary file with the extension DCF, the compiled data entry application, the extension ENC, the data entry application document, ENT extension, the form file, FMF, and the run task document, the PFF. The other three files appear to have two extensions as they are all .ent .something else. So if you have file extensions hidden, do not confuse these with the ENT file. Let's look at these files in turn. The dictionary file contains all the information related to the data dictionary, such as levels, records, items and value sets. So all the labels for your data are within this file. The file does not contain any references to other files in the system. Thus, when it is opened directly into CS Pro, you would not see the Forms tab and the Forms icon in the toolbar is disabled. Although you can edit the dictionary file independently of the other files in the system, you must be aware that any changes you make are likely to affect the forms file. Note that the dictionary file is needed for data comparisons and for data exporting, as well as for data entry. The forms file .fmf, contains information about the layout of the data entry forms. It contains a link to the dictionary file, which of course must exist. If we open this file directly, we again go into the design, but because of the link to the dictionary file, the dictionary tab is available, as is the dictionary icon on the toolbar. Note if we move over to the dictionary, the file that will be changed for any changes we make here is the dictionary file. Moving over to the form file, the file is the forms file that will be changed. By opening the forms file in this way, we don't have any access to the logic code or to any of the CAPI questions, and the corresponding toolbar items are disabled. The application file, the ENT file, effectively pulls together the other files in the system. You can see references to the dictionary file, to the forms file, and to those three files with ENT followed by a further extension. These three files, the first one, the APP file, contains the logic code within the system for skips and checks. The QSF file contains the formatting and text for any CAPI questions that have been set up for use on the PDA. And the MGF file would contain message, customized message text for displaying with the error message function produced from the logic code. We don't have any examples of that in our system at the moment. Double clicking on the ENT file will open CS Pro in design mode 
with all the components ready for you to make any necessary changes to the system. We can access the dictionary, the forms, the, the logic code, and the CAPI questions. So everything is really within this one file. And all the toolbar icons are active. Opening this file would be the normal method of opening the system during the design phase. Once the system is finalized and working well, it's advisable to generate a compiled version to use for data entry. From the file menu in CS Pro, we choose Generate Binary. This generates the compiled application within a single file with the extension ENC. This single file is all that is needed for data entry. Double clicking on the ENC file takes you directly into the CS Entry program, which is the component of CS Pro used for data entry. You'd need to specify the data file name and give the operator ID in the normal way. Opening this file is the recommended method for data entry. The run task document, also known as the program information file, contains a link to the application file and a link to the data file. It's automatically generated the first time you run the data entry. Double clicking this file would take you directly into CS Entry. And after entering the operator ID, would open the file that was referred to within it. In this case, baseline survey.dat. We recommend that you ignore this file and instead, as we said before, use the ENC file for data entry. So far, we have talked about the files that comprise the data entry system. When you start to enter data, further files will be created. The data file itself does not have a default extension, but we recommend giving the extensions DAT. You need to specify this yourself. Thus, we have a file, baseline survey.dat, which contains the data. In addition, there are several other files. As follows, there's the IDX file, the log file, the list file, not file, an STS file. The IDX file is the only one that is not a text file. This is a binary file and is the data file index. This contains an index of case IDs and it's used by the system to ensure that the identification for each case is unique. The listing file is generated when the data entry application is run. It contains information about the data file and the results. It's a really a listing of the data entry activity and includes things like information on the number of times error messages have been triggered during a particular session. It gives the start and end times of the data entry session. The log file is a comma separated file with a fixed format. Each record in the file represents one data entry session and includes the mode, either modify or add, the operator ID, start and end times, and various other bits of information related to the session. During data entry, the operator can use control N to add a note about a particular piece of data. These notes are stored in the notes file, along with the case ID and the name of the item to which the note refers. The status file contains information 
on partial saves in the data. If the partial save option has been set up during the design, you can stop partway through the entry for a questionnaire and come back later to the same position. This file keeps information about these partial saves. For example, we see the, the case ID 645, which is household 45 in village 6 of the baseline survey. This has a partial save and the next item to enter would be HH size. So we have three recommended ways of getting into CS Pro. You can either open CS Pro directly and then browse for the application that you want or create a new application. Or you can click the ENT file if you want to open that particular system in design view. Or click the ENC file, the compiled application, to, to go into data entry mode. Compare this to MS Word, which you can open by either clicking a link directly to MS Word, which opens your blank document, or you can click on a, a document which itself will open within Word. Remember, for data comparison and data exporting, you will need the dictionary file and the data file. For further information about the various files, see the CS Pro help.